First of all, this isn't one of those I came all the way over here because I want you back things. There'll be no startling confession of love, no sweet indie rock song that swells up just as we're about to kiss, none of that crap, got it? Okay. Good. Now, here's the thing. It sucks that you came back from Argentina with someone as awesome as Gael. And I know I have no right to be upset at you. We're broken up, life goes on, whatever. But you know what? We, we never did this. We, we had this polite breakup with no irrational yelling, and, and that's just wrong. So I'm gonna yell irrationally for a little while, and you're just gonna have to stand there and deal with it, okay? If you feel like you need to do that, then- I think I do. I really think I do. So now, I'm yelling! You shaved. I did! I liked the beard. I liked it too, but it was getting kinda hot. Maybe in the winter, I'll grow it back out! Okay, I'm done. I know it was weird showing up with Gael. I'm sorry. Look, us breaking up, it was the right thing. But it took some time to get over you, you know? I I'm still getting over you. But you, you were over it the minute they started the in-flight movie. Over it? My first three days in Argentina, I cried my eyes out. I missed you so much. I wanted to go and prove how adventurous I am, but the truth is, it was really lonely. And that's why Gael happened. You weren't trying to win the breakup? I was trying to survive it. <sighs> okay. No, see, look, that all sounds good, and we'll still be friends and move on, but did he have to be so hot? The guy's an Adonis. He's not an Adonis. He's the Cadillac of rebound guys. Marshall has a crush on him. The guy's perfect. He's not perfect. No, come on. He's hot. He windsurfs. He massages things. Name one way I'm better than that guy. You're bigger. Don't patronize me. If anything, he may even be a little bit taller. No. Taz, you're bigger. I win! <laughs> Kids, I can't remember exactly what helped me get through the whole Rob and Gael incident. I'm sure that it was something profound and meaningful, and not at all macho and petty. But after that, I was back on my feet, and what followed was a new era in my life. A crazy time unlike anything that came before. It's funny looking back at those days, knowing now exactly what I was heading towards, and what was heading towards me.